While skinny dipping in an isolated lake, a young woman notices a strange man on the shore following her. <sighs> the scene starts with us hearing a phone ring, but the call goes to voicemail. The voicemail is from a woman tearfully asking her daughter, Amber, to come back home. Meanwhile, a young couple steals a car and sets off on a joyride. The following morning, the girl wakes up in the middle of a forest in the stolen car, but her boyfriend, Jake, is nowhere to be found. After a moment of panic, she spots him nearby relieving himself, and she calms down. Just then, her phone vibrates with a call from home, but she decides to ignore it. Eventually, Jake returns to the car. Amber asks if they've arrived at Florida yet. Jake says no, and admits he's not sure how to get there. Amber checks the glove compartment for a map, but instead finds a revolver. Jake suggests teaching her how to use it, and they hear a shot as Amber takes her first shot. Jake compliments her, but tells her to keep her eyes open next time. Amber jokes about how she looks with a weapon, and Jake ironically responds that he wouldn't mess with her. Amber points the revolver at Jake, and he tells her to stop joking around, but she orders him to get on his knees. Jake nervously complies, and Amber asks him to count to ten with his eyes closed. Jake agrees to the role play and starts counting down. However, Amber asks him to count slower, and he obliges. After a few seconds, Jake opens his eyes and sees Amber running away from him while laughing. The couple continues their playful chase until Amber reaches the shore of a small lake, where she strips and jumps into the water. After swimming for a while, Amber realizes that Jake hasn't found her yet, but she does see a stranger on the shore who greets her and asks about the water. Although somewhat nervous, Amber replies that it's wonderful. The stranger senses her apprehension and asks if he is scaring her. Trying to remain calm, Amber assures the man that everything is fine and decides to swim along the shore. The stranger slowly walks in her direction, causing Amber to look around and ask if he is following her. He responds by saying he's just enjoying the view. Amber tries to ease the tension by playfully calling him a bad boy. The stranger asks if the nearby car belongs to her, and Amber nervously asks if he has seen her boyfriend. He asks her to swim closer and introduces himself, but Amber's cheerful mood is almost gone. She reluctantly gives him her name while glancing at her clothes and gun. The stranger then asks why she's not in school. Amber responds by saying that she doesn't attend school. The man then expresses concern that he might offend her boyfriend by looking at her and warns her about the danger of the place where people drown every year by swimming alone. Despite feeling scared, Amber doesn't want to show it in smiles, assuring the stranger that she'll be fine before swimming away from him. The man stares at her intently and compliments her hair, causing tension to escalate. Amber thanks him, and he notices that she seems to be getting tired. He asks if she wants to head to the shore, but Amber decides to wait for her boyfriend. The man assures Amber that he won't look at her as she gets out of the water, but even though she is shivering from the cold, she declines. After a pause, the suspicious stranger expresses doubt that Amber's boyfriend will come. This causes Amber to become extremely alarmed, and she changes her plan, warning the man that if he doesn't leave, her boyfriend will beat him up. The indifferent man is skeptical and shocks Amber by claiming that her boyfriend is already dead. Disbelieving, Amber loudly calls out for her lover. The cold-blooded stranger suggests that she get out of the water since no one will be able to hear her there. Amber swims away from the shore feeling confused. She realizes that the man is no longer there. Feeling exhausted and cold, she decides to get out of the water and begins to shiver as she picks up her clothes. Amber quickly dresses and runs through the forest calling out her boyfriend's name, but there's no answer. Eventually, she finds the car, starts it, and drives away as fast as she can with tears in her eyes. While she's driving, she tries to call Jake, but he doesn't pick up. Then, a hand slowly emerges from the back seat and reaches towards Amber's head. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more movie recaps.